boys and girls, welcome to Kids World. I'm Teacher Matt. And yes, things are being done a little bit differently these days. As you can see, we have Kids World live in our living room here in Geneva. And we are really excited to teach you a big God story today. It happens to be one of our favorites in this household. Our big God story comes from the Old Testament, which is the time before Jesus came onto the scene. And in our big God story, we have some exciting storylines to talk to you about. We talk about how God is with us, even when we face really challenging circumstances or situations in our lives where we don't think we're gonna be able to do anything. God will be with us, he will protect us. And so we're excited to talk about this story, about how God's people, the Israelites, were gonna fight the enemies of God, the Philistines. So boys and girls, to continue our story, the Philistines, enemies of God, they came to fight King Saul's army. And King Saul was king of the Israelites. But the Philistines had a giant soldier, and his name was Goliath. And Goliath was almost 10 feet tall, which is almost double the size of my height. And when Goliath came onto the scene, he yelled at the Israelite soldiers. Bring out your best soldier to fight me. If your strongest soldier defeats me, we will be your slaves. If I defeat him, you will be our slaves. And King Saul's soldiers were afraid. Who wouldn't be afraid of a giant like that on the battlefield? Thanks, Goliath. But there was a young shepherd boy named David. And David loved God very much. And David was an Israelite, so he was one of God's people. And David was a tough shepherd, because David's job was to protect his sheep. So whenever a lion or a wolf or a bear would come to try and take one of his sheep, David would fight it off. Come on out, lion. And he would fight off the lion, just like that. Or a wolf or a bear would come and David would fight it off, fight it off just like this. And so David had some brothers and David's brothers were in King Saul's army. And David was bringing them food one day to the front lines where Saul's army, the Israelites were fighting the Philistines. And it was there that David heard Goliath, Goliath's challenge. And so David heard Goliath's challenge. And David said to Saul, I am not afraid to fight the giant. And King Saul said, You cannot fight the giant. You are too young. And David was small. How was David going to fight this giant? But here was David's reply to King Saul. God will be with me. God will be with him. You see, David loved God. Because David knew that God would be with him no matter where he went or what he was going to do. But King Saul was worried. And King Saul said, David, you must take my armor. So David, King Saul you must take my armor. started to put the armor onto King David, just like this. And David, he looked at Saul and he said, I cannot fight with this armor on. Then, I'm, I can't fight with this armor on. And so he took it off because he wasn't used to fighting with the armor on. So David decided he would fight with the weapon that he knew best. And he would go get his slingshot and some smooth stones from a nearby river. And Goliath, when he saw David come out to the battlefield, Goliath laughed at him. <laughs> He's too small to defeat me. And David, looked at Goliath and he said, I come before in the name of the Lord who rules over all. <laughs> Do you notice what David said? He didn't say, I come before you as my own strength, or I come before you as an Israelite, or I come before you as someone in King Saul's army. No, he said, I come before you in the name of the Lord, because he knew that God would be with him to fight this giant. <laughs> and so David, put a stone in his sling, and he reached it back, and he 
fired that stone. And it flew through the air and hit the giant right in the forehead. And Goliath fell to the ground. And David defeated the giant. Well, boys and girls, it has been so much fun to tell this story from the Bible, which is God's word. It's how he communicates to us. We love to listen to God. And one of the best ways we can do that is to read his word. So if you don't have a Bible, I wanna encourage you, talk to your mom and dad about getting an adventure Bible or a beginner Bible, or just asking your mom and dad, hey, read me a story out of the Bible. And maybe they start with one of our favorites, David versus Goliath. And boys and girls, always remember, when you're scared, if it's dark, or maybe there's a thunderstorm, or you feel like you're alone, just remember, just like David, that God is always with you. God will protect you because God loves you. It's been so great to have you come into my home, uh, into my family's home, to spend this time with us, to learn about God's word. And before we go today, I just wanna pray for you and, and, and for you kids out there. Um, for those in the pre-K class, um, I miss you terribly. I just uh, hope that uh, you guys are doing well and staying healthy. So let me pray for you before we go. Lord and Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for the stories about how much you love us, about how you care for us and protect us, and that you are always with us, even when we're scared. And God, you tell us so many times in the Bible, do not be afraid, because God, you are with us. We love you. I pray for each one of the families in Kids World. I pray for all the children that are listening to this today, Lord. I pray that they would just love you and care and, and serve you and just know that they are fully loved by you and your son, Jesus. And Jesus, we thank you for this time. We pray this in your name. And everybody said, amen.